to Beijing now, where hundreds of Paralympians took center stage for the Games while under a dark cloud of war in Ukraine. Canada joined 45 other nations, including Ukrainian athletes, following the Paralympic Committee's change of heart to ban Russian and Belarusian competitors. Jason Adola has more. In summer, here's Canada. It's normally a celebration of sport, but this time it also became a call for peace. Very anticipated. 20 athletes representing Ukraine found their way to the Winter Paralympics opening ceremony and were greeted with a hero's welcome in Beijing. This following the International Paralympic Committee initially allowing Russian and Belarusian athletes to compete, then banning them yesterday. Multiple national Paralympic committees, some of which have been contacted by the governments, teams and athletes, are expressing the intention not to compete. The move garnered support from many, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau today, saying in part, Canada joins the international sport community in condemning Russia's unjustifiable and unprovoked invasion. The nation's Olympic community agrees. The Canadian Olympic Committee has, has come together and put together a statement um, on those words. And obviously, as a member there, um, I definitely have full faith and I, I agree with what they've been saying. And unfortunately, the collateral damage becomes those athletes who have trained so hard to get there. Michael Narain with Brock University Sport Management says the move also dampens Russia's economic investment in sport. He says the cloud of war also hurts the exposure for para athletes. It definitely adds to the insurmountable, almost uh, mountain climb that the Paralympic movement has to make. The Paralympic Games come to a close on March 13th. Jason Guidola, CHCH News.